Hi guys, welcome to Nikki D Art. Uh, first thing I want to say is a huge thank you to everybody for getting me to a thousand subs. I'm over the moon, really, really happy. Thank you so much. Um, this one that you can see that I'm fast making a time lapse of was my first attempt. Um, it's finished now. Uh, I did quite like it, but. Um, my blue split for some reason, the, the CA that I put on the top, no idea why. So um, I hadn't got any more of the grey, so I just used up what I had left. Uh, it's a very, very pale blue, just mist tint. Um, so I just poured that and had a go with that. Um, I will list all the colours in the drop down description box. Um, as I can't remember what they were, so I need to go through them because I was literally just grab, you know, you just grab colours and I'll have a bit of that and I'll have a bit of this, so I need to sort of go through them and see what I use. This one now is Holcroft Daintree, I know that, and I used uh, this little piggy, um, also known as TLPs, in Mango, and I used uh, Liquitex Quinacridone Magenta, Joe Sonia, Payne's Grey, and that one now is a uh, Pabeo Iridescent Copper. I think I also put um Amsterdam Turquoise Green in as well, and also Montmartre Metallic Gold. But as I say, I'll um go through them and make sure. I might have put um, Holcroft Titanium White in as well and I'm swiping with Amsterdam Oxide Black which I've just shown you now um, so I was hoping I didn't run out of this base that I put on because I as I say I used the last bit that I'd got um, so I've got to make sure that it covers um, I'm using a smaller spatula this time uh, I was trying to go for a bit more of a minimalistic look initially um, you'll see at the end um, it wasn't really as minimalistic as I was going for once again I'd put too much paint on I seem to be a bit heavy-handed with the paint applications at the moment but I did like it it's really nice my son said it looked like a lava lamp the, the cells because they've got so many different colours in them and they look like they're floating like oil uh, which I thought was quite a good description and somebody else uh, one of my subscribers Faye she said it reminded her of uh, Alice in Wonderland the Mad Hatter um, I quite like that so I think I might call it Mad Hatter because the way I've got it the picture up that I like the orientation best it, it does actually look like some sort of a, a weird hat so I reckon we'll go with that one. Um, okay, I'll put you some music on. Be back later.
if I'm the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days, I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish in one, yeah, yeah. I really do love these, those cells, the stripy cells with all the different colours in. I think it's really unusual, a bit different. And I like that top little bit where I swirl the cocktail stick through. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with this one. It's a bit dark, but um, I think against the, the light blue background, it's very icy blue, the background. I think it's quite nice. Um, and hopefully you can see what I mean about it looking like a hat. Reminds me of a hat. And this is just the video I took um, when I finished, just to show you some close-ups um, of the cells. I think they're quite unusual. That's the bit I think is quite cool there. She's like the top of the hat, sort of like a, a, a tassel on the top, if you like. These colours together, so nice. I often think when you just, you've had a pale pour and then you just decide to grab this and grab that, it always seems to come out the best rather than the ones you plan for and thought out this colour and that colour and the ones you just grab at the last minute often come out really cool. Right, uh, there'll be some uh, still photos on after this one um, and I'd just like to say thank you again. I really appreciate you all and all the lovely comments that you, you write. I can't describe how, how lovely it is when you read all the comments. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I really appreciate it and I'll catch you all soon and please stay safe. See you next time. Bye.